Hi, my name is Christoph Algren. I'm a Principal Solutions Architect within the Oracle Coherence Group. I have a presentation for you about the processing pattern. Uh, the processing pattern is one of the patterns in the Oracle Coherence Incubator. I'm going to cover new features for the summer 2010 release. Another thing you should do is read the documentation on the wiki. There are both uh, descriptions of how to use the APIs uh, as well as more details on the architecture of the processing pattern. You can see the link on the screen. And now I'm going to cover a few of the new features for the summer 2010 release. I'm going to start with the ability to cancel submissions. Uh, this means that if you, when you have submitted something, you can revoke it before it has reached a final sta state. Um, if, if the task or, or submission has started processing, it will, it will uh, actually cancel the work and try to interrupt whatever work has been started. The next feature is client flexibility. Uh, clients in this new release will be able to reconnect and retrieve work later. For example, if a client fails or restarts, it can reconnect to the processing pattern and retrieve the work and the results that have been um, communicated back. It also supports the ability for one client to submit and possibly another client to retrieve the result. So this means that you can have, for example, a number of processes that uh, acts as producers of work and you can have a set of clients that uh, acts as consumers of the results. And the client can also decide when it submits what identifier to use uh, for a submission so that you can have a so that another client can know what identifier to use to retrieve the results and this helps correlating with application specific identifiers we have also in, uh, enhanced the ability to route to individual nodes in the cluster and this works by uh, associating attributes with, with task processors as well as with submissions. So you can specify, uh, you can both uh, configure specific attributes to be associated with um, specific task processors at uh, the configuration time as well as uh, rely on dynamic uh, attributes generated, for example, the IP address and the, the host name of, of individual nodes. So that covered the basics of the processing pattern. If you have any questions to this presentation or, or any other general questions about the Querence Incubator, I encourage you to visit the Querence Incubator forum on the web. You can see the, the link on the screen, as well as the main page of the Querence Incubator on the web, uh, which you see on the screen too. Thank you very much for listening.